by the computer system we are going to be discussing and uh, uh, okay uh, what is meant by the computer system is here uh, what is meant by a computer system most of the most of the people are going to define a computer system as what a computer system as an electronic device and a computer system the people are going to be defined it as what a electronic device and uh, inside the computer system what are the things we are going to see uh, inside the computer system uh, in, inside the computer system system environment we are having some hardware and the data is in the form of bits and bytes and uh, we are having some components and uh, to work on the computer system means we need to so know some programming languages we need to know some programming languages and uh, on the computer system which type of things we are going to be called it as a programming languages means machine language assembly language low level and a high level languages we are going to be called it as what a programming languages and uh, in in the high level languages what are the which type of languages we are having processor oriented programming languages called c and object oriented programming languages called c++ java and uh, such type of programming languages we are going to be called it as what object oriented programming languages and uh, uh, and uh, after that inside this uh, topic we are going to discuss Uh, which type of softwares we are going to have uh, which type of softwares means there are two types of softwares we are going to have in the computer system which type of softwares means application as well as what system software application and system software and in our first unit we are going to see uh, something introduction about the what development of c algorithms as well as what software development process means what these are the things we are going to be seen in our first part of our, our first unit uh, but uh, in this lecture we are going to see what is meant by a computer system and a uh, computer means what a computer computer means most of the people are going to define as what a computer means what a uh, computer is an electronic device we are going to be called it as what a electronic device why we are calling it as a electronic device means the device is going to be worked with the what some electronic power without the electronic uh, power uh, it is not going to be worked so here we are calling the computer as what electronic device and uh, that takes what data and instructions as for input suppose if i if i pressed some control p as a input control p nothing but what printing and uh, if i mm, if i am uh, clicking on the what some music video music uh, video file here then uh, it is going to display some uh, it is going to play that video such type of things we are going to be called it as what data and instructions as for what as am um, input form and uh, it is going to process the data and uh, it is going to process the data from where the it is going to take the input means it is going to take the input from the what input from what user and uh, it is going to process the data and it is going to give the information and uh, whatever the information we are expecting that expected information it is going to give it as what output and uh, here what is meant by the computer means computer means what is the definition we are going to be defined as computer is an electronic device that takes data and instructions as an as an input form the user input from input from the user input from the user process data uh, and provides the useful information uh, known as what output and provides the useful information known as what output and uh, this type of definition we are going to be defined for the what this type of thing we are defining for the what computer and uh, here what is the uh, what is the other definition the people are going to define here means computer is known as what input process output cycle input process and output cycle and uh, before going into the computers uh, just now we have defined uh, what is meant by a computer computer is an electronic device which is going to take the input uh, from the user and process the data and gives the information back as what output and uh, here before entering into the computers computers we need to know who is the 
actually this computers has been innovated by whom and uh, here what is the the father of computers father of computers means what is the who, who has innovated this computer here means computers uh, machine means charles babbage in the year called 26th december 19, uh, 1791 uh, to uh, 18th october 1871 was a okay this is the uh, he is the scientist who innovated the first computer uh, what is the which type of computer he has been innovated means analytical computer he has innovated a computer called analytical computer in 1822 and uh, that's why the people started uh, uh, people has assigned one name as what uh, assigned his name as what uh, father of computers uh, uh, who is the father of computers means the people are going to say it as what uh, charles babbage and uh, he has innovated a first computer as what uh, analytical computer what is the computer he has been innovated analytical computer and uh, here what is the this is the this is the diagram yeah, uh, in most of the textbooks or most of the uh, in most uh, most of the uh, presentations, the people are going to present uh, as it as a what a block diagram of computer. The people are going to present it as what a block diagram of computer. And uh, here, what is the uh, what is the thing is uh, going on in the computers here? What is the thing is going to be done by uh, using a computer? Here we are going to in, give the input as what data, input as data to the what computer, and this this particular part we are going to be called it as what central processing unit. We are going to be called it as what central processing unit, and inside this we are going to have some ALU, uh, arithmetical logical unit, memory unit, control unit, such type of things we are going to have. Uh, inside the memory unit, we are going to have something as primary memory, secondary memory, such type of things we are going to have. And uh, whatever the given, uh, we have given suppose input as what uh, for the calculator, we have given 10 uh, plus 20, 10 plus 20. Then it is going to give the result as what 30. And uh, the 10 plus 20 is going to be processed here. And uh, okay, here. And this this type of diagram we are going to be called it as what a block diagram of a computer uh, computer here we are giving the input we are taking the in output as what a information and in between this input and output what is the thing is happening here means processing is happening the processing is going to be done by the what a, for the for which type of input for which type of uh, for uh, which type of input which type of output should be given is decided by this electronic machine. And uh, this type of diagram we are going to be indicated for the water uh, computers here. This type of diagram we are going to be indicated for the water uh, computer. And uh, here, what are the uh, what are the different types of computers we are having nowadays? Uh, what are the different types of computers we are going to be used? The people are going to use whatever the present now. Uh, uh, whatever the computer we are using in our uh, in our uh, room or in our uh, in our college means they we are using something computers called uh, desktop computers those desktop computers we are going to be called it as what a uh, personal computer we are going to be called it as what a uh, personal computer and a uh, personal computer is a uh, how many users are going to use that computer at a time uh, at a time a single user uh, uh, a single user computer system has what a moderate uh, powerful microprocessor uh, moderate uh, powerful microprocessor and uh, here what is the uh, uh, what is the difference between a um, uh, specific computer and a personal computer here means on a personal computers uh, we can uh, we can do uh, we can achieve multiple tasks we can achieve multiple tasks in our computer we can open a paintbrush or we can open a audio player or we can open a video player and we can do several kind of activities on a computer machine and uh, suppose only single user single computer system means we are going to be called it as what uh, this type of computer we are going to be called it uh, called here means we are going to be called it as what uh, personal computers and uh, okay 
uh, if a if a if a machine is uh, why we are calling it as a powerful microprocessor we are calling it as a powerful microprocessor uh, why because we are not uh, uh, on a computer machine we are not doing a single uh, act single uh, activity we are uh, achieving uh, we are doing multiple activities uh, painting we are doing painting we are listening music we are uh, watching videos uh, multiple those multiple activities are going to be possible by using a uh, which type of thing means microprocessor here uh, uh, here what, what is the specification for the personal computer we are defining here means uh, it is a single user computer system having moderately powerful microprocessor and uh, here what is the workstation means what we are what is the which type of thing we are going to be called it as a workstation and uh, it is also being called as a single user computer system which is similar to the personal computer but have more powerful microprocessors and uh, okay more uh, powerful microprocessors and uh, here what is the uh, uh, what is the things we are going to be called it as a workstations here all of you just watch this environment and uh, here uh, here uh, what is the if you see this environment it means you are going to uh, understand uh, what is the okay and uh, here uh, computer system means what what is the what is the thing they are defining here hardware and combination of what hardware and software we are going to be called it as what computer system and uh, here what is the uh, a computer system is containing what monitor printer primary storage cpu keyboard disks and uh, tapes auxiliary storage devices secondary storage devices and uh, if we are interconnecting all these things means we are going to be called it as what a, a computer system if you are interconnecting all these things means we are going to be called it as what a computer system and uh, which type of uh, this type of thing we are going to be called it as what a personal computer uh, if, it, uh, if uh, in this manner if a system environment is existent means we are going to be called it as what a personal computing environment and uh, a personal computer is containing one monitor uh, and uh, a cpu that cpu is uh, integrated with some dvd player cd player and uh, integrated with the what keyboard mouse this type of thing we are going to be called it as what a personal computing environment we are going to be called it as what a personal computing environment and uh, here what are the what are the different types of environments we are having and uh, here one cpu that cpu is connected with the what multiple computers here central computer is there one central computer is there that computer is connected with the what uh, multiple computers in uh, here what is the time sharing environment here uh, which type of environment we are calling here means time sharing and uh, suppose if you if you go to some small schools means inside those small schools one cpu but uh, one cpu is connected with the what uh, multiple computers and uh, whatever the whatever the data they are storing all those data is going to be stored inside the what uh, central computer and uh, inside the central computer is attached with the what uh, central storages and uh, central comp computer is uh, attached with the what uh, some shared printers also and uh, this type of environment we are calling it as what uh, time sharing environment they are calling it as what a time sharing environment and uh, here what is the client and servers client and servers means inside the software companies uh, which type of environment we are going to have here means server is located in some place and uh, all the people are connected with the what a servers suppose uh, now we are connected with the some some uh, on the internet suppose if you are using some uh, google and uh, google server is located somewhere and uh, but all the computers clients are connected with that server all the clients are going to be connected with that uh, server and uh, here uh, here what is the inside our college we are going to have something as what uh, client server environment 
and uh, are in software environments in software companies we are going to have something as what a client and server environment and uh, here this type of uh, this diagrammatical representation is indicating something as what a client server environment and uh, here uh, what is the what is the other environment we are having here means distributed environment distributed environment and uh, suppose i want to uh, wide area network uh, treat it as a local area network or uh, suppose if i want to make a, our network as wide area network means uh, then how we are going to be connected now our on online class is connected by using the what now our online class is connected by using the what some internet and uh, by using the internet we are connecting to the what multiple users and uh, this type of uh thing we are going to be called it as what a distributed computing we are going to be called it as what a distributed computing and in some test books uh, the people are going to mention the different computer environments as what a distributed computing client server environment time sharing environment or personal uh, computing environment and uh, here what is the what is the what are the uh, different types of Uh, things we are indicating in with the other names here means we are indicating it as what a workstation uh, we are indicating it as what a workstation or we are indicating it as what a mainframe and uh, here what is the difference uh, between uh, personal computer and workstation personal computer mm, uh, personal computer is used for what a simple applications general applications we are going to be accessed using the what a personal computer and uh, here workstation means what uh, here we are going to access some uh, okay in software companies the people are going to use something as what a workstation uh, and uh, here what is the it is more powerful it is containing what a more powerful microprocessor and uh, what is meant by the mini computers mini computers means Uh, a multi user computing system which is capable of supporting hundreds of users simultaneously and uh, nowadays we are using some mini computers as what well, uh, some microphone uh, what is the what is the smartphones and these type of things we are going to be called it as what well, uh, mini computers and uh, mainframe means uh, suppose i want to check some uh, some weather report uh, okay uh, here what is the inside the mainframe which is capable of supporting what uh, hundreds of users simultaneously by using some software technology and uh, is different from the what uh, that software technology is different from the what uh, mini computer means we are going to be called it as what a uh, mainframe computers we are going to be called it as what a uh, mainframe and uh, here super computers means no uh, it is more powerful than the what uh, mini computers micro uh, mainframe computers and desktop computers it is going to execute hundreds of millions of instructions for a second hundreds of millions of instructions for a second means if a computer is executing hundreds of millions of instructions for a second means they are going to call it as what uh, super computers and uh, nowadays the weather report we are going to be seen by using the what uh, super computer and uh, suppose if i uh, some robotic type uh, applications are there uh, such type of things are going to be done by using the what uh, super computer itself and uh, okay uh, whether the suppose some cricket match is going on uh, whether the who is going to win Uh, we can predict by using the what uh, nowadays the people are using some data science technology and that such data science uh, can be implemented by using the what uh, something as what uh, super computer and uh, here example applications of super computers are what uh, weather forecasting scientific simulations uh, graphics fluid dynamic and uh, calculations such type of things we are going to be done by using the what uh, super computers and uh, now uh, if anybody ask about the what are the different types of computing environments are there here means uh, personal computer workstation mini computer mainframe and super computer you are going to be explained or uh, okay and uh, now we are going to see some characteristics of a computer uh, what are the characteristics a computer is going to contain 
and uh, here uh, computer means what while purchasing what are the things we are going to be considered while purchasing a computer what are the things we are going to be considered depending on which things uh, we are going to choose our computer suppose if you are purchasing a smartphone then uh, what are the you are depending on the configuration you are going to purchase the smartphone and uh, here also what is the uh, uh, depending on what the people are going to choose the computers and uh, here what are the characteristics we need to be remember here means depending on the speed speed of the computer we are going to be purchased accuracy of the computer we are going to be purchased uh, diligence uh, and uh, uh, versatility and uh, storage capacity depending on these things we are going to uh, purchase a computer these things only we are going to be called it as what a characteristics of computer they are going to be called it as what a characteristics of computer and uh, okay uh, now we are going to see in in, in deeply about the what a, what are the characteristics of computers we are having what is meant by the speed what is meant by the accuracy what is meant by the diligence uh, what is meant by versatility versatility and what is meant by the um, uh, storage capacity these are the things we are going to be discussing speed means what computers works at any which speed incredible speed suppose uh, if i ask a person uh, 10 into 20 means the people are going to give the answer in an quick manner if i ask a human uh, to uh, say what is meant by the 10 20 ja watt 10 20 ja watt means he is going to give the answer in uh, 200 within a quick time suppose if i ask some 999 into uh, 9 means what is the result means he is not going to give the answer in a quick time uh, whereas a computer uh, it is a, it, a, a uh, computer is going to solve any kind of so task in a similar amount of time and a similar manner and uh, such type of thing we are going to be so every computer what is the thing it is going to be considered speed uh, speed just now what is the example if i ask uh, 20 into 10 means the people are going to give the answer as what uh, 200 in an quick manner uh, but uh, suppose if i ask 999 into 9 means they are going to take some time okay uh, it, uh, but the but the activity is what same uh, in both the cases we are doing some multiplication but uh, uh, giving result for uh, for giving the result of 10 into 20 it is taking uh, uh, he is taking some less time whereas uh, uh, calculating 999 into 9 he is taking a huge amount of time and uh, here the computer is going to take the same kind of time for uh, same kind of work here uh, Okay, uh, here a computer works at which speed? Incredible speed, and it is capable of ca performing what calculations of very large amount of data, and uh, a powerful computer is capable for, capable of what performing what uh, three to four millions of simple instructions for a what second for a second. How many instructions inside the program we are going to write different. Uh, some n lines of instructions uh, to execute any task means those n lines of instructions to be executed and uh, here what is the um, characteristics of computer speed means what is the speed means what is the thing we are considering a powerful computer is capable of performing how many instructions for a second three to four million uh, simple instructions for a second and this type of characteristic we are calling it as what we are calling it as what speed we are calling it as what speed and uh, just now what is the thing we have been discussed okay speed means what uh, for given input how much amount of the time it is taking uh, it is taking the same same amount of similar amount of time for all the inputs means we are we are going to be called it as a uh, efficient computer and uh, such type of characteristic we are calling it as what speed and what is meant by the accuracy accuracy means what if i am calculating 2 plus 3 5 and uh, 5 plus 3 uh, if it is giving the result as a uh, 5 plus 3 means it is giving result as 6 means uh, the output is correct or wrong the output is wrong 
and uh, if we uh, if we, if it is giving the right kind of uh, if it is uh, if it is giving the result as accurate uh, accurate and error free and uh, if it is giving 5 plus 3 means if it is giving 6 means the computer is working in a proper manner or not in the proper manner the computer is not working in a proper manner and uh, if it is every time uh, whenever we have tested or uh, every time it is working accurately means then we are going to call the computer as what accuracy they are going to be called such type of characteristic as what accuracy whenever a computer is working with uh, working in an accuracy manner means uh, what is the thing is going to be achieved here means 100 percent 100 percent error free uh, error free is going to be achieved and uh, computer performs all the jobs with the with the uh, 100 percent accuracy and uh, whatever the uh, activities we are doing it is going to do that particular job in a 100 percent uh, without any disturbances and without any errors it is going to be performed so here we are going to call one type of uh, characteristic as what uh, accuracy computer performs all jobs with 100 percent accuracy provide the correct input has been given and uh, if you are giving the right input suppose 10 plus a uh, means it is unable to understand if you are giving the proper input only then only it is going to give the proper result 10 plus 20 means it is going to understood both our numerics we can add 10 plus 20 means we need to give the result as what 30 and uh, if you give the proper input means it is going to give the proper output if you are not giving the proper input means uh, the system is going to be confused the system is going to be confused and uh, it is going to say you it is going to ask you to give the proper input also it is going to uh, give the warning message as what well, give the input as proper and uh, such type of characteristic we are calling it as what well, accuracy we are calling it as what well, accuracy and what is meant by the delegates and uh, here what is the um, uh, sometimes it's the human if you are comparing the computer with a uh, human means uh, the human is what uh, sometimes they do not uh, okay computers are highly consistent and uh, humans are what uh, not highly consistent the humans are not uh, suppose uh, if I am having uh, a good energy means I am going to run uh, for 10 kilometers and uh, after 10 kilometers the same task if i assign it to the same person means he is unable to run in such time but whereas the computers it is going to take every time it is going to be worked in a consistent manner uh, if a computer is running for 10 kilometers uh, 10 kilometers in 10 minutes means second time if you ask assign it the same task to run the computer uh, for 10 kilometers means it is going to take the same amount of time same amount of time and every time it is working in a similar fashion so we are calling it as what we are calling it as what intelligence we are calling it as what intelligence and a computer is not going to be uh, tired uh, suppose human uh, he is going to be tired he is going to feel sometimes as what bore like that but uh, computer is unlike what uh, human beings computer is unlike what uh, human beings and uh, it is computers therefore as what uh, better than what uh, human beings in performing what uh, voluminous and repetitive jobs voluminous and uh, repetitive jobs suppose if you go to the atm atm and uh, if you are drawing 10000 10000 uh, you have drawn the 10000 in uh, 10 seconds and second time you have go to the atm and you have drawing means it is again the 10,000 is going to be drawn in how many seconds 10 seconds itself uh, but if a, a insta suppose a human is counting 10,000 uh, counting the 10,000 uh, manually means he is taking 10 minutes second time if i give the same kind of task means he can take uh, more than 10 minutes or less than 10 minutes it, it, he can take and uh, humans are what uh, inconsistent uh, inconsistent but uh, whereas computer is what uh, always works as what uh, repetitive tasks or any kind of tasks it is going to work in a uh, consistent manner uh, 10 plus 20 means it is going to give the result 
within 10 seconds 999 into 9 also it is going to give the result in 10 seconds itself uh, result in same amount of time and the such type of characteristic we are going to be called it as what telegens we are going to be called it as what telegen and uh, here what is the virality and uh, what is the what are the capable of performing what any task as long as it can be broken down into a series series of what logical steps and uh, here what is the what is the thing we are why we are going to be called it as virality here and uh, here computers on the computers we are going to do something as what it is going to do multiple kinds of activities uh, the presence of computers can be seen in almost every sphere and uh, uh, the computers are go going to be used for what Ra railway and air reservation systems the computers are going to be used for the what banking applications the computers are going to be used for the what hotel management applications and the computers are used for the what weather forecasting and many more and uh, this type of any anyway, characteristic we are going to be called it as what virality uh, virality it can be it is not using for a specific task it is used for many uh, types of environment in many types of environment we are using the similar type of computer machine we are going to be using uh, the same kind of computer machine we are using for the railway application the same type of computer computer system we are using for the what air reservations the same same type of computer system we are using for the what bank and this type of characteristic we are calling it as what virality and uh, storage capacity and uh, nowadays uh, uh, okay uh, what is the thing is important here means if a computer is having the huge storage means we can store huge amount of data and uh, nowadays in, within a small uh, device we can store a huge amount of data we are going to be stored and uh, such type of characteristic we are going to be called it as what uh, storage capacity uh, can store large volumes of data piece of information once recorded and it can never be forgotten suppose if i stored a computer video a, a video file in my computer and uh, suppose uh, as a human i can forget but a computer if i open that video means again it is going to rewind the same information can be retrieved almost uh, almost what uh, can be retrieved almost instantaneously instance instantly and uh, here what is the uh, the computer will never forget the our data which which has been stored on the computer system the computer never forget the data uh, whatever the data we have stored on our computer system sometimes uh, whatever the whatever the celebration videos are there uh, those videos we are going to be stored in our computer so, uh, suppose if we want to see those video once again means we can open it and we can see and uh, is it corrupted or manipulated means it is not going to be corrupted and it is not going to be manipulated and such type of future we are going to be called it as what a storage capacity and uh, here what are the characteristics we are having here means uh, if anybody ask about the characteristics of computer means you need to explain something speed accuracy elegance versatility and storage capacity and uh, characteristics and uh, now we are going to discuss uh, what are the drawbacks are there means computer is not going to be worked as what uh, uh, it is not having some iq suppose if you designed a computer for addition of two numbers but if you are asking the computer to solve multiplication of two numbers then it is unable to solve why because uh, those instructions we have not written inside the what computer programming so uh, what is the drawback is existed here means whatever the instruction code we have been written depending on that instruction code only it is going to work for this particular task and uh, that's why what is the disadvantage we are saying what is the drawback is there for the computers means no iq and uh, lack of decision making powers uh, here uh, it is not having any decision making power depending on the instructions so itself it is going to be worked and uh, what is the uh, what is the what is the computer is not having here means computer is not going to have any feelings 
that's why we have uh, mentioned the drawback as what well, no feelings and uh, suppose if you watch the robo film means inside the robo film what is the difference between the human and a robo means robo is containing uh, no feeling whereas a human is going to contain some feel and uh, here these are the things we are going to be called it as what well, drawbacks of what well, computer system we are going to be called it as what well, drawbacks of what well, computer system and uh, here what are the different types of applications we are having uh, what are the different kinds of application applications we are uh, applications are they for the, uh, applications of computers are what what are the different kinds of applications we are using in present scenario uh, we are having something as what well, business based business applications we are going to have suppose uh, nowadays you are using something as what well, business application as what well, some flipkart amazon and uh, amazon such type of things we are going to be called it as what well, business applications and uh, which type of applications we are going to be called it as a banking applications means nowadays in your smartphone you are going to use something as what well, uh, sbi app you are going to use hdfc bank app or you are going to use some uh, phone pay or google pay such type of applications we are going to be called it as what well, banking application they are going to be called it as what well, banking application and which type of applications we are going to be called it as a education education related means sometimes uh, nowadays we are going to most of the people are going to use something education apps as what well, khan academy the people are going to use something as nptel uh, such type of applications we are going to be called it as what well, education and uh, marketing business related applications we are going to call it as what well, marketing and uh, health based uh, apollo something as uh, okay uh, some health based applications we are going to be called it as what well, health care applications and uh, engineering design drawing if you are designing some mechanical instruments before that you want to draw uh, you want to prepare some blue print or uh, nowadays 3d printers we are available for um, Uh, designing a machine designing a bolt uh, such type of uh, applications uh, some uh, cad such type of applications we are going to be called it as what engineering design or uh, some applications we are going to be called it as what military based some applications we are going to be called it as what communications some facebook whatsapp these are the applications we are going to be called it as what communications and a uh, government applications nothing but what if you see some e pass uh, or some uh, any government related applications we are going to be called it as what well, government applications or we can have some scientific research applications these are the these are the things we are going to be called it as what well, applications of what well, computer suppose if you are on your computer machine if you are using as something as what well, if you are using some uh, if you are using some flipkart app or if you are using some uh, amazon app means we are going to be called it as what well, uh, if you are going to be uh, if you are using some flipkart app or amazon app in your smartphone means such applications we are going to be called it as what well, business and uh, phone pay google pay or sbi such type of things we are using on our computer machine means we are going to be called it as what well, banking or uh, if you are using some nptel such type of applications we are going to be called it as what well, education and uh, these are the different types of applications we are going to be used on our computer machine today and uh, what are the different types of applications we are having business banking education marketing health care engineering design military communications government and scientific research applications we are having and uh, here what are the uh, from Uh, generation to generation what are the different types of computers we have been seeing now we are in the which generation here means fifth generation and uh, starting first generation and the computers are made up of which components means vacuum tube based components and in the second generation instead of vacuum tube based the people started using instead of vacuum tubes now transistors they have been used and uh, to develop a small sized computer 
and uh, uh, to develop the micro based computers means the people started using something as what uh, integrated circuits started using a uh, components called what uh, integrated uh, circuits and uh, to make the computer into a small micro size means they started using a component as what uh, vlsi very large scale uh, uh, integrated circuits very large scale integrated circuits the people started using and uh, here now what is the nowadays what is the which type of computers the people are starting in developing means artificial intelligence based now which type of computers uh, 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 softwares the people are going to be developed here means the computer inside the computer which type of com concept the people are using here means data science such type of data science concept we are going to be called it as what uh, artificial intelligence and uh, these are the things we are going to be called it as what uh, generations and in the first generation we need to remember some component as what uh, vacuum tube based and uh, second generation we need to remember something as what uh, transistor based the computers has been developed based on what uh, transistor based and third generation the people started uh, uh, on depending on which one the people started developing a computer machine means integrated circuits and fourth generation the people started developing a computer based on what vlsi micro microprocessor based and uh, now what is the which type of computers the people are preferring in developing means artificial artificial intelligence based and uh, this is the diagram which is representing what a computer system computer system is means what hardware and software and uh, this is the uh, if you are interconnecting integrating a computer uh, in uh, we are going to integrate a computer in this manner every computer is going to contain what a computer system is going to contain keyboard and uh, it is going to contain cpu primary storage and it is interconnected with the what a auxiliary storage devices this one we are going to be called it as secondary storage and uh, this one we are going to be called it as what a primary storage this one we are going to be called it as what a primary storage and uh, this is the output devices monitor is one output device what is the thing is happening on the computer for given input what is the output it is displaying on the on the screen and uh, uh, what is the uh, output device means what is the other thing we are indicating here means printer if you are 